lot of our clients invest domestically, and Aussie's been great for yield. Um, as a lot of people know, it's high yield. Franking credits have a lot of appeal to, to kind of retirees and low tax. And also, they know the companies. You know, they bank with ANZ, they bank with CBA, they understand Rio. The problem with all this is home bias. Um, all of their investment eggs are in one domestic basket. So what's the solution? Well, I just want to spend a couple of minutes going through the benefits of global shares. And the key message is really diversification. Diversification reduces risk, but importantly, it's for, for income and also for return. So if we just focus on income, and, and you can see the chart that's popping up, Australia is just not diversified. If you look at the chart on the left, uh, the domestic chart, the top six stocks are paying well over 50% of yield, and they are all banks and resources. Two industries, big exposure to specific risks. If you think about things like the Royal Commission, a commodity downturn, you're really going to see challenge in your income. And for a retiree, that means challenges to their lifestyle. The hidden double whammy that, that isn't always talked about is that if your income's at risk, it's often accompanied by a drawdown in return and underperformance of the company. So you get hit on the income side and you also get hit on the capital side. If you compare that to the global chart, the top six pay less than 10%. Yes, there's a bank. There's also an energy company, exposure to tech. And so you're getting countries and sectors that you just can't get access to uh, with a domestic equity portfolio. Really interestingly, a lot of our clients say they don't know the global companies. Um, but in reality, I'd argue they're all household names. In, in just the top six on this chart, uh, many of us use Microsoft at work. You know, We have an Apple phone. But there's the less obvious things. Johnson & Johnson is in the top 10. They actually make the contact lenses I'm wearing. So it's not always obvious companies, but they're all around us every day. The diversification definitely decreases risk, um, but also you have access to global growth opportunities. In 2021, the ASX did pretty well by anyone's standard. It, it returned nearly 20% but global was up nearly 30 in Aussie dollar terms. So there's clearly a lot of benefits to diversifying with a global allocation. And we think this is really important, especially when you're investing for income.